on my how to sharpen your blades um, your mowing blades video I got a question on there about clumps and they said they had uh, their yards an acre or so and they want to know about um, how to avoid clumps and this and that so I mow commercially I mow a lot of residential yards they're smaller properties but every now and then I come into contact with that and there's several reasons why but check this out I normally don't have an issue with it um, there are certain times of year where the grass will jump or you fall behind because of rain so this is a situation where I'm behind because of rain um, so what happened was uh, Labor Day weekend I was scheduled to go see my parents we got a very heavy rain I missed like I don't know six or seven properties so I'm catching them up this week uh, I don't charge extra when I do that if I fall behind for any reason and it's my fault I don't charge my clients any extra um, but yeah let's go ahead and get into this as you can see it's clumpy nasty okay so the first thing is we've got a lot of uh, crabgrass Dallas grass you know real thick blades that's not like there's Bermuda in there as well so this is Bermuda all right that's Bermuda but these real thick blades they hold a lot of moisture so if you got grass like this one of the first things to get rid of clumps is get back to good grass so chemical treatment um, whatever it takes to to get good grass in your yard okay uh, the other thing is if you look at the cut height I could have cut a little higher but I'm actually getting this lawn back into specs so I know I'm gonna have to double cut it either way so what I'm gonna do is cut the front and then I'm gonna go cut the back and then I'm gonna come cut the front again and if the back needs it it grows a little slower but if it needs it then I'll cut it again um, the reason why I'm waiting in between I'm going back and forth is it's pretty hot today and that's gonna give the grass that's sitting on top of the lawn a few minutes to kind of dry out so that when I mow it it just doesn't turn into soup here's the thing you can see here that um, you know I'm, I'm cutting a, a pretty pretty decent amount off there okay about I don't know four inches or so and that doesn't seem like much but that's quite a bit um, so your mower is not going to handle it as well a commercial mower will toss it like it's nothing but um, you know it's not going to handle it as well so one of the reasons I'm going to cut it again is so that I have a cleaner cut so I'll cut it one way and then I'll cut it another way that's going to help disperse the clumps the other thing is I'm going to uh, blow these clumps out when I'm done so I'll actually use a blower to blow them out now I mean it's like a blanket on there right now okay so I can do this and you can see I got a ton of grass like I said if I raise the cut height up a little bit it wouldn't do that and then I could cut it again so cut it high cut it low that would be a good way I'm not too worried about that because both ways for me are pretty quick um, so I just keep the deck height on where I need to be for my specs on certain times of year certain types of grasses so I'm getting it back down to height I'm gonna mow it mow it twice I'm gonna blow out the lawn when I'm done and after I'm done there's gonna be there's gonna be some grass clippings but it won't be the way it looks now it won't look bad all right um, but if you have a couple acres you might have to cut it and then wait a day and then go cut it again or wait until later in the day where there's no dew um, things like that uh, the other thing is like I said I skipped this for a week generally this isn't a problem on any of my properties because they're all weekly but when I do miss them occasionally this is the mess I deal with when I used to cut yards every two weeks this is what I dealt with every day when I went out and I would cut yards two three four five times whatever it took to get them back into shape and make them look good and that just takes too much time and that's time that I can't really charge for I mean somebody wants an every two week cut because they're a budget type client and it just didn't make sense for me anymore so I quit doing it anyways I hope that uh, I'm going to show you this a little bit um, and I hope that it helps so I'll go ahead and get started and uh, I've already got half of it but I'm going to hit the rest
All right. So what I wanted to do here is display, uh, you kind of saw how it looked with one cut and how much clumps are. This is two cuts on this side and that's a third cut on this side. So when you actually look at the grass, there's quite a bit there, right? And then you come over to this side and it's just not nearly as bad. So I went ahead and gave it a third cut and while it looks real bad, this is easily cleaned up with the blower at this point. So two cuts or this three cuts and that's two cuts almost like a blanket I'm not worried about that that's what the blowers for man um, it just kind of happens <laughs> so you know it, it's rough it's nasty it's thick it's like a blanket over there but over here you can see that it's kind of back to turf now what you see here is this is the division line this is two cuts that's three cuts and sometimes that's what it takes. I gotta get it back in shape. I want it to look good for my client. Three cuts is what it takes. You know, it's my fault that it got behind. It's my, my responsibility to get it looking good. So, we've got a blanket over here. Just show you with my hand. Okay. It's like a blanket, big nasty clumps. And then over here, same thing with my hand just a little bit this can be dispersed there's some bigger clump areas and it can all be dispersed with the blower at this point just by fanning it across the lawn which will leave me with a nice finished look so I'm gonna finish hitting this I'm gonna go ahead and edge and weed eat the front and take care of the back afterwards and I'll, I'll finish up the front so you guys can see that I'm not gonna take you into my clients backyard it just is what it is okay um, so I'll get the front cleaned up I know I said I was going to go front, back, front, but I said I'd just take care of it this way so that I could be done with the camera, get on with my day, because I got a lot more of these. I want to say six. I did one this morning, so five more after this. Uh, today we're just knocking out. Uh, I just went out and did two. I've got a bunch of errands to run with my wife. I'm going to spend some time with her. So I figured I'd take advantage of the time, do this, and then is what it is, you know what I mean? Uh, the front's wrapped up. I am going to blow off the concrete one more time after I get done with the uh, the back. But, you know, if you wanted to polish it up even more, you could do one more cut after this and blow it off again. Um, but considering where it was at, it looks pretty sharp. So, you know, not perfect. There's still a little bit of grass clippings and stuff like that. That is going to settle throughout the week. You get a little wind, this and that. But, I mean, it's not enough that it's going to dry and be noticeable but you can see there's no no grass clumps so that's kind of how it works not too bad for a junkyard I say junk it's a nicer yard <laughs> it's a nice yard but it's it's what I mean is like junk grass it's got a lot of weeds and stuff like that she chooses not to treat with chemicals I fully understand that that's kind of a new wave thing going on where people are conscious about the environment. That's anyway, 
That's been going on for like 30, 40 years, man. It's one of those things that uh, I completely understand it. I'm okay with mowing weeds. In the spring, it'll give you an extra couple cuts. Uh, this is the backyard on here has like wild onions in the spring. It gets crazy. Huh? Backyard doesn't look too bad. Shouldn't be too bad at all. So, from here, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'll stop and see if I can't see a yard that's been cut recently um, and has a lot of grass clippings, like I said. But, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty common, easy to see. So, I'll stop, I'll show you what that looks like if you don't clean up those clumps. I mean, you can kind of see it over here. You know, you see the drag clumps like this. I don't like that. So the way that I do it, even though that's small and it's minor and you can't hardly see it, I cut the grass in a way that you're not going to see that next time I'm here. So you might see individual blades. It's almost impossible not to unless you're bagging. I don't bag. Why? Because I'm not a tard. <laughs>